In this demonstration, we'll walk through the process of procure to pay using Dynamics 365 Business Central. We'll begin by entering a purchase invoice. We'll then pay the vendor. We'll review the vendor balance, and then we'll use a resource such as Auto Suggest Payments to provide us guidance on who we should pay in terms of priorities. So let's begin by creating the purchase invoice. So I'm logged into Business Central using the role-based homepage for the accountant. And I'll use a shortcut right here to Vendors. And I'll select Fabricam as my vendor. It opens up the, the master record. And then I can just simply collect on the purchase invoice. Here, I'll fill in the header information, such as the vendor invoice number. And then down below, I could either type in or just use the drop down menu to select the items that I'd like to purchase. In this case, the London swivel chair. We'll enter in a quantity of 20. Now, what's interesting is the system, the application is constantly monitoring events and it notices with its embedded intelligence that as I'm placing the order uh, with this particular vendor, there are some other items that I have in inventory, so I appreciate that they're asking me to add this. Perhaps I can get better terms with my vendor. And then I post the document, and then I could print it to see what it might look like and get the details. Next, I can drill into the vendor balance. So I'll see here for the $6,526. I can click into that vendor and I see the most recent invoice uh, that I just posted. I'll close out of that window. And the next step is to pay the purchase invoice. So from the home page, real quick in the actions area in the main screen, I can select payables from the drop down and select payment journal. And here I'll edit the highlighted journal. And from the drop down list, I'll go ahead and select the vendor that I want to pay. In this case, it's Fabricam. And I'll enter in the amount from that recently created purchase invoice. And then I'll scroll to the right. And I will apply this to the document that we just created. So I'll select OK. And now I can post and I'll post those purchase lines. The next step would be to review the vendor history. So from the vendor list, I can choose from the tiles here, the 18 most recent posted invoices. And I've got this filtered on the vendor Fabricam and most current one happens to be sorted for me up at the top of the list. You'll notice that's 108209. We'll go ahead and select that. Now I can also hold down my shift key as I need to do additional analysis and I can select a few items in this list. I'll do control C with my keyboard. 14 rows have been copied. Now I'll open up Excel and then I'll right click or use control V. I'll paste into Excel and now I've got this information for me to do some additional analysis. What if scenarios? The last step was to show you how we can use auto suggestions to make payments to vendors. So we'll begin here in the home page. I'll select cash management and the submenu payment journals. Again, I'll open up that payment registration. And in the ribbon, there is an option for me in the payment journal window. There's an option for me to suggest vendor payments uh, based on uh, how long they're due or when they're due soon or payments where a payment discount is available. And these are some of the settings we'd set up during the original conf configuration. I'll select the suggest vendor payments and it gives me from this view the option to select payments to which vendors. Once those documents are selected, the payments can then be processed via all the actions here in the ribbon. I'll close out of that window and yet the purpose and the goal of this scenario was just to demonstrate the procure to pay process with Dynamics 365 Business Central. The benefits are to reduce the initial learning of a new system, but more importantly, to reduce time and data entry and limit errors and ensure data control.